Sloan to Durham. Bailey in the corner. He'll drive baseline, get rejected by Mahe Thompson. Misses the putback and Tape on the second follow. And good offensive rebounding by the Gladiators. You know, maybe they, they missed that one as we see Tape come in and throw that one south. But in rhythm jump shot, in rhythm foul line jump shot, just what the doctor ordered. Durham off the pick and roll on West driving. Dietrich got in front. And here's Ali Hodzic rushing into the game. He's going to back down Thompson but kicks it out on West. Too slow. Made two. Third is good and that's huge for Caledonia for getting three point shooting from David Sloan. You know, sometimes it can be one of those guys that makes the difference. As Donaldson thought about the three, puts it on the deck, skip pass. It's Carter, left wing three, open and string music. Morgan Carter. Morgan Carter steps up and nails a big three. Blazers double team Rashad Hassan in the quarters. This time they go to it, but Caledonia prepared for it. And Onwas with the back cut gets the layup to go with the foul. Ball and finishes. You see Ali Odzic turn away from the defense and put that one right on the money. Yeah, and that's no doubt being on the scout that Caledonia probably looked. Dietrich off the baseline screen looking for high low Carter to Smith. Smith with the fadeaway gets oh, the contact. Play. And, and it's massive, and it's massive, Michael, on two reasons. The best player on this court, but Malcolm Smith says, take that. Beautiful play by the veteran. Yeah, and you see here the fadeaway and just to reach him with the off arm gets him off. Fraser Malcolm only 32% from three, doesn't shoot many. As Brugman rejects the screen, going to go downhill, finds a cutting Dietrich, tries to get it in, and somehow Jonas Dietrich gets the roll. And it's a great finish, it's a great finish, but that ball has to be in Malcolm Smith's hands. Princeton almost staying in the game on two fouls. Chance to do that as Malcolm Smith, <laughs> sorry, Fraser Malcolm. Brugman rejects the screen, goes to the pull-up jump shot, little long, and Ali Hodgett keeps Donaldson off the glass, and here comes Caledonia in transition, Sloan, oh, wow. Euro step, gets all the way to the rim. As Gladiators find Malcolm drives in the paint. Backdoor cut intercepted by Brugman as Bailey was open. Derby three on two. It's Charlie Brown. Bounce pass to Smith and he'll convert. Does an exceptional job on the glass in the NBL for the Blazers. He'll find Brugman. May Thompson with the long two gets it to go. And I love the pass by Brugman. He has to attack and he has to keep attacking. As Fraser and Durham will look like they're going to set into the ball screen. Fraser's got May Thompson as Malcolm Smith on the weak side. Wow. Fraser, reverse wow. layup is good. Derby have been exceptionally active. More than one or two steals coming up in this quarter. And as Bailey in transition behind the leg. Pass to Fraser. He'll jam it home. And Caledonia biggest lead of the game. As May Thompson looks for the lob pass. Gets Fraser up and in the air and lays it home. Timeout coach Gareth Murray. Derby matching up six on the shot clock. Bailey over Smith. Rejected by Smith. Ball kept alive. Shot clock. Michael, you just turned in from a commentator into a fan there. You you commentate and then you shout. And Derby will try and get this back to one possession game. Macho trying to get a horn set in. We'll see what he has lined up as Brown finds Smith. Thinks about the three. Going to drive on Bailey. Get the contact and gets it to go back to his bread and butter as he forces his way inside and just manhandles the defense beautiful finish by Malcolm Smith uh, as Fraser and Bailey take a break Omwas and Tape both on two personal fouls into the game was four of four and Darby will push to try and get a two for one in to end the quarter but Sloan will break that up jump in the passing lane and jam it home for two the officials yeah, as we see the Sloan dunk as he throws that one down beautifully and really picked it off in the passing lane. Double screen. Going to have to put it up to beat the shot clock. Goes to the run. A little long offensive rebound. Smith, does he get it off in time? Indeed, he does. Gladiators say no. Referees happy with it. We're going to get to see a replay here, Michael. And looked like the light was not. And Jace Harrison with the strong board and the push. He'll beat Malcolm down the floor, get to the lane, blocked by Tape on the big time rejection. And it'll allow the Gladiators to push with Bailey, goes to the runner. And he will get the second chance and eventually not quite put it home. Another rebound, Smith gets caught in the face and Tape makes no mistake this time. Yeah, the top three have definitely made a pact as Brugman finds Dietrich, rejected by Malcolm and Tape, combined double block. Durham working on Dietrich, forced to give it up, Sloan off the ball screen, Ali Hodzic on the roll, open, it's Jimenez on the weak side, splashes the triple.
for those lacks of efficiency, should you say. Yeah, and Caledonia, terrific job on the defensive end. So many difficult looks. Another turnover, Durham Stritch, Brugman, and get a score as Dietrich cut off by Brown, oh, sorry, finds Brown and Smith. Fronted by Malcolm, creates the separation, and that's what Derby needed with Malcolm on Smith, and Smith just saw the hand in the cookie jar. Well, and the Caledonia Bigs have done a terrific job tidying it up on the hole as Smith bobbles the ball. Got Malcolm's going to shoot over him and knocks it down. He's going to go up and over Durham, who did a terrific job of staying vertical and not fouling. And now it's Sloan downhill, oh, wow. dishes to beautiful Razor. Bucket is good. Beautiful. Right, he's seeing going in and out and just deliver that with his left. And Ali Fraser. As Caledonia's defensive intensity has definitely stepped up out, out of the locker room. It's Smith going on Omas. Fade away is wow. good. Looks like Spain action with May Thompson playing, but Brugman downhill reverse lay. It doesn't go. Smith offensive rebound. Oh, wow. Put back good. And that will end the quarter. Caledonia don't even inbound. The basketballs. We're going to look at this last play. He just did not give up on this ball. And as good as he is, he plays even harder. Yeah, and, and it was. Brugman with the reverse leg didn't quite go and Smith just slipped it looked like his left foot goes from under him but the gladiators <laughs> looking to push this into double digits Durham in the corner triple up still no good Malcolm another offensive rebound put back Fraser Malcolm taking over guys in there that just will not die and Malcolm another offensive rebound and another stick back and in can the gladiators make them pay Sloan five on the clock working on deer trick Durham, corner three, up, and finally Aldon makes one. The question is, has this game just got one step too far out of reach for Derby as they come up with three offensive rebounds? Missed an opportunity last time in transition. May Thompson have beat him down the floor. It's Dietrich to Smith, pick and pop. He'll put it on the deck, drive, get contact, but get it to go. As Fraser with May Thompson on him, going to look to spin, gets May Thompson span around, goes to the hook shot. Gets it to go. Contact in this game and you know, to send Ali Fraser to the line there seems to be minimal contact. So Derby need to make a run if they're going to stay in this BBL Trophy semi-final. And the ball is going to go to Smith. Fadeaway jump shot is good. May Thompson being physical. Malcolm underneath. Fraser doesn't have the handle and Derby going to come away with it. Brugman three on two. Bunyan tries to take a charge in the middle. But nice he'll find that Smith lays it nice home for pass. two. Time out, Gareth Murray. Trying to prove us wrong. It doesn't. If he drops 40, I think we have to break the rule. Little triangle, six on the clock. The Derby don't throw a double skip to Durham. He's going to have to go to work. Navigates the baseline, but throws it into the hands of Raheem May Thompson. A great defense by Dietrich. Now, Caledonia got Sloan going. Head of steam downhill. May Thompson can't stay in front of him. And David Sloan does what he does best with his gladiators team, scoring the basketball. And Tape, as Dietrich gets the post touch, he's going to rise straight up over the smaller Sloan and knock it down. And that's a pleasant sight, and they're not dead yet. Darby going to throw the double, tip pass on the swing. Bunyan now, seven on the shot clock. Guarded by Brugman, Brugman on those four fouls. Bunyan finds Onwas underneath, reverse layup, good. Smart play, the experience of the BBL team. They're not in a rush unless they get a wide, wide open look. As Bunyan lines it up, sinks it, and that might just be the dagger. Indeed, and Trailblazers, yet another three missed. They're down to 12% from downtown. That's not what you wanted on your home floor. As Sloan gets the contact, goes to the line to complete the three-point play. Turn on now, and you see an 18-point game. You go, well, the BBL team just did what they did. And Derby will give it one last push. Can you get six threes in a minute and a half? That's the question. <laughs> Not with that as Donaldson drives rejected again by Tape. Scotland, it's a long way to travel during the season. You've just spoke about the... You know, what a good game it is to take this one and the Plymouth game going into that game against Hemel and all to play and for. Brugman with the steal gets the contact, doesn't quite get the roll. Derby second leading scorer as Derby trying to get chase the game. Trapped come, but Gladiators with that great ball movement, finding the options... Durham, a finger roll layup is good. He's going to the final and the Caledonia Gladiators should celebrate because it's a chance to win silverware. But, you know, Derby, what a phenomenal run that they've had in this, in this tournament.